Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. In this video tutorial, we are learning about what is exactly number data type in automation anyway, as well as we will solve some of the mathematical equations using number data type. And also at the end, we will discuss some of the interview questions which may ask in automation anywhere interviews. If you are new to my channel and if you want to learn automation anywhere from the scratch, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you. I have already created some of the videos regarding variables in automation anyway with a best practice and with an example. Please go through this video playlist and you will get all the knowledge about automation anywhere variable types. We have asked one question in a previous video. Is runtime variable stored permanently in memory or not? So basically answer is no. Why? Because whenever you are storing the variable when you are running the bot, it will store in a RAM memory, random access memory. RAM is a volatile memory. Once your bot is completed, your all variables will be initialized as zero and it will not consume any memory from the RAM. So the answer is no, it will not store permanently in your memory. I hope you got the answer. If you have any questions regarding this answer, please comment on the video. Without wasting the time, today topic is mathematical equations using automation anywhere number data type. How we can use a average function in automation anywhere? Example, what is average function? So whenever you have a sum of some numbers, right? Example 5 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1. The total sum of this number are 11. This 11, if you want to get an average, what you will do? 11 divided by 4 because 4 is a count of numbers. And the answer we will get in the mathematical equation that is 2.75. The same steps we will follow in automation anywhere also, but some trick is there to get 2.75 in a automation anywhere. Please don't skip the video. You will get what is exactly that trick we have to follow in automation anywhere. Directly we will jump into automation anywhere and we will try to solve this function using number data type. First step is we have to create a user defined number variable. What is user defined number variable? How we can create and what is the advantage? Everything I have explained in variable playlist videos. Please go through that videos and get the knowledge about user defined variable. I have already mentioned that link in a description. Please watch that video and get the knowledge. First step is we have to create a variable. How we can create? Click on this plus symbol in a variable panel and select a number data type. And as part of the best practice, we are following a camel case and new M sum. I'm just taking a sum and create. So now the next step is how we can add a multiple numbers together using number package in the number package we have one command called assign so in the assign you can give a values which you want to add it so dynamically also you can add it by insert variable or i'm just adding one plus two plus three plus five right so it will give you the answer 11. This value, sum of the value I'm storing in a num sum and I'm just saving this value. And I want to know the value whatever we have sum it, which is coming correctly or not. For that I'm adding a message box after, after the number assigned and I'm just adding a variable in message box number sum. And this is giving a error. Why? Because automation anywhere message box is expecting a string from us, but we are assigning a number variable, right? To convert from number to string, we can use a 
very simple function called dot to string and it will convert your number to string in a inline so now if you run the bot you will get an answer as 11 so next step is we have to check average right to check the average the function we have to use is so i can use directly again assign from number package after the addition right i'm just adding num number because sorry num sum because we have a value in a sum variable right and we have to divide by four because we have added four different number one two three five so this value i will save it in numbers average variable which i have created and this number average variable also your number data type and that number average we will take it in a message box number average so again you are getting an error because number average also a number data type we have to convert to string and if you run the bot now you will get a answer of your average right so let's see what answer we will get it from automation anyway so basically we are getting an answer as two but what is a real answer 2.75 how we can get a decimal number also in the message box when you are using a automation anywhere assign option that is a trick we have to follow in automation anywhere to get a decimal number to get a decimal number we have to convert automation anywhere number data type into stream using number package to string activity so what we have to do is we have to give a number average in a source and we have to mention how many number of decimal you want to get it in a message box or you want to convert into string so i need a two decimal point i'm just adding as a two and I'm, i will just save this value as str average because whatever the value you are getting after converting into float it will save into string variable and create a select and in the message box you can directly take str average and run the bot so now basically in the first step bot will add all the four numbers one plus two plus three plus five and it will save it in a sum variable convert into string and it will give you the value 2.75 that is exactly the value we are expecting from the automation anyway so like this you can utilize the number variable for the average function or any mathematical equations and also we will see one of the important interview question which asked in automation anywhere interview how to calculate percentage of total very important question multiple times it is asked example if you are scoring 45 out of 60 what is exactly the percentage very important question please try to do it in your system and make sure you were commenting that answer in my this video and if you need like this videos about automation anyway please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you happy learning Go be great.